Aloha, bros. How's it? Have you managed to find rare, aka yellow rarity gloves with good affixes? If you have, are you having trouble determining whether or not they are worth something? Well, I think I got the video for you here. Now, full disclosure, this is not a video appraising your rare gloves as prices in Diablo 2 change as time progresses, but at the very least, I think this video can answer questions on whether or not your gloves are worth keeping or being tar food. Now this video will be formatted in a way where I start from listing the most important affixes your gloves can have to less important affixes to look out for. Now before you start, take a quick peek at these gloves and notice what they have on it. If you have something similar looking to this, it's safe to say you might be sitting on something that's worth a pretty penny. The first thing to look for in your rare gloves is do they have plus to skills. As soon as you see certain skills added, there are a few things to consider. Now first note that the gloves can roll between 1 and 2 in a specified skill. Also note that these gloves can have 4 possible skill rolls, the possible skill rolls being martial arts in the assassin skill tree and any of the 3 skill trees in the amazon skill tree, javelin spear, bow crossbow and passive magic. Now historically, Martial Arts from the Assassin skill tree and Javelin, Spear, and Bow Crossbow from the Amazon skill tree have been the most sought after gloves. People don't tend to go for the passive magic gloves. However, if these passive magic gloves have the right affixes, in my opinion, I wouldn't throw them away just yet. And to end off this first point, keep in mind if Blizzard ever decides to add more possible skill rolls, like with the Paladin, the Barbarian, the Druid, in future updates, that this list of possible skill rolls can expand. Second most important thing in my opinion is that do these gloves offer increased attack speed? Now IAS has always been very important in Diablo 2 as it is necessary to hit certain breakpoints to achieve a higher damage per second. It's even more broken in Diablo 2 Resurrected because of the cap that has been taken away. Now I don't want to get too much into the details as there are many other popular YouTubers who cover this, but essentially IAS breakpoints in the old Diablo 2 were capped due to frame rate issues, from what I believe, but in this new resurrected version, which I'm assuming everyone's playing right now, it doesn't have that limit. Now to get back to discussing the IAS on gloves, know that they can roll between 10 to 20%, 20% being the obviously more desirable number. Three. Do your gloves offer life and mana leech? If they do, that's another check mark on your appraisal. Now, oftentimes, especially in later difficulties, you'll find sustaining your HP and mana resources with just potions very, very difficult and troublesome. Now, with a little extra life and mana leech, it becomes significantly easier to take down mobs and bosses because you don't have to worry about your resources as much. Ideally, you want the glove to offer both. However, if you manage to get just one, I would say that's good enough. A glove can only have so many affixes, and getting a roll on every possible godly trait is highly unlikely. The fourth most important affix in my opinion, do your gloves offer strength and or dexterity? If they do, another check mark. A lot of us Diablo 2 veterans detest and abhor adding points into strength because you know strength doesn't really do much for an ass assassin or amazon and everyone just wants to put points in vitality to become a little tankier. And a little extra dex also comes a long way in helping characters equip gear, uh, increasing their damage and attack rating as well. Numero Senko, or number five. Do your gloves offer resistances to an element? If they do, good. Check mark again. I listed this as near the end of the list because I don't believe this to be too important. I'm not saying it's not a nice trait to have, but in terms of your appraisal checklist, this ranks near closer to the bottom, only because a lot of the time, a character's gear sets usually offer enough resistances to be capped. However, if you're lucky enough to get a pair of gloves with resistances on top of all the other previously mentioned affixes, it's safe to say you're sitting on something quite valuable. Lastly, any other possible affixes that can be added to the gloves aside from the first five I listed, is also good. I put this as number six because I don't necessarily view these as necessities, but luxuries in terms of affixes. You know, some 
of these can roll magic find, which I think is very, very nice, but it's not a necessity, it's just a luxury. Attack rating also, but I mean, if you have gloves with dexterity, that's gonna add to your attack rating and damage anyway, and uh, others, but I, I really don't know them all. I wish I could tell you. So I hope this video was helpful to you, especially to the newer players who don't know if they're sitting on something valuable. Remember, just because your gloves are missing any of these traits doesn't mean that they're useless. They could have no skills added and still have the other good affixes like leech, increase attack speed, strength, and dex, you know, and they would still be good. So don't throw anything away. And if you're unsure, always put down in the comments below, then you can ask me and I'll, I, I respond pretty quickly. So you can ask me if you ever have any questions. Mahalo for tuning in and aloha. Please like and subscribe if this video was helpful to you. Take it easy, guys. Stay safe.